Hi there, love and lovers. We're here with the flower people in Los Angeles, Griffith Park, the scene of one of America's great lovings. And I'd like you to meet right now one of the country's swingingest hippies. What, uh, what is your name, sir? Uh, my name is Dag Herford, uh, but you can call me 609-382. What? What's that? Well, that's my hip code number. I see. <laughs> Make sure I get all my mail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be too many people there today. Where's yeah. the uh, rest of the crowd for this big loving? That, uh... Well, no, they won't show up till about Sunday, see, but uh, I like to get here about three days early. You know the old saying, first come, first serve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, you know, you, you sure don't look like a hippie, I'll tell you that. I mean, you know, you don't have the long hair and the... The beard. Oh, yeah. Well, I will have by Sunday. Uh, no, do, you, do you expect any trouble with the fuss? No, but my hair gets a little unruly. No, I'm, I'm just, <laughs> you know, some of the uh, lovings have caused serious disturbances. Uh, what do the police say? Well, they say, there's another serious disturbance. <laughs> that's pretty generous. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's where I heard it, I guess. Uh-huh. Is it true that you have different types of lovings? Or? Yeah, yeah. Now, basically, we got your beginners. Beginner's love in, which is kind of like potluck. Potluck. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, what we call your on-the-job training. Yeah. <laughs> then we have your Olympic love in, which comes every four years. Uh, incidentally, this year I'll be in the 100-yard blanket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just jump right under there. And then uh, we got your over 40 love in. You mean you have uh, older people at love-ins? Oh, yeah, yeah. We had a couple at the last love in here that were in their 80s. In their 80s? What, yeah. What do they do? Well, they spend most of the time trying to get out of the car. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine. Oh, once I got out, screw me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've heard rumors about a, about a love corps. What, uh, what is a... Uh... Well, now, your love corps is basically a bunch of love nuts who go from city to city bringing love to the unloved. And how are they doing? Well, we don't know. We don't hear too much from them, see so, yeah. <laughs> We don't get too much of a chance to write. Yeah. It's a round-the-clock job, you know. Yeah, you I imagine. Sure. Shut down his memories. What's, uh... <laughs> What's, what's your opinion of the hippie movement? Well, what we've tried to do with the hippies is take a little of what the young have and give it to the old. Uh-huh. Well, what, what do they have? Well, we've got to have a lot of adults with complexion problems. Yeah. So, <laughs> Going to get it ironed out. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was wondering, if, uh, have you taken any trips yet? Yeah, I took uh, just one to Mexico. No, I... <laughs> no, I mean, do you, uh, do you take uh, LSD? No, we drove. <laughs> See, uh, my wife wanted to stop and see her sister, so oh, we <laughs> went down the coast. And... No, no, you don't follow me. See, all you do is just take this little pill, and you're there. Where? Anywhere you want to go. Oh, really? Yeah. Gee, that'd be a lot better. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. The other way, I lost three days' work, my car boiled over. Well, yeah. <laughs> wife got sick on tacos, too. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that... Don't uh, try you... and break up a hippie. No. <laughs> Doesn't work, doesn't work. You, would you say that you're tuned in or turned on? Well, no, I'm not, but my blanket is. <laughs> See, it's electric. I have dual controls for love-ins. <laughs> Last week, I had it up to ten. <laughs> Pop up one at a time. Oh, yeah, you know. You mentioned your wife a little earlier. Is she going to be here today? Uh, no, uh, she flipped out. <laughs> you, mean, you mean she went uh, wiggy? No, no, she flipped out. I don't understand. Well, you see, I was out riding in my motorcycle, and she was in the sidecar, and I made a right and flipped out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Herford, uh, since you're a hippie, do you, uh, do you smoke bananas? And, you know? No, no, I don't, uh, but I save the coupons. <laughs> That's how I got my motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> and these keen deck chairs. Yeah. <laughs> does, does, your, does your wife smoke bananas? Uh, yeah, yeah. She likes the long ones, you know, the new Chiquita 100s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Light them way out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm glad to hear that you don't smoke bananas. No, no, no. You see, I switched to broccoli. <laughs> you guys smoke anything? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why I joined the Fruit of the Month Club. Can hardly wait for January. It's going to be Hubbard squash. Hubbard squash. <laughs> Want to come over to the house? I got an extra case. Yeah. <laughs> Al yes. Coco, I tell you right now. Has, has, has your group started uh, any demonstrations lately? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I had a demonstration last night. Yeah. Really? Were you there? No, I couldn't make it. I had a rotary meeting. <laughs> Please give you a rough time? Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, they're clamped down on us pretty regularly now. As a matter of fact, I have a neighbor who just got picked up for just wearing a mini skirt in a supermarket. What would they do? Well, they took his skirt away from him and fined him. 
He had a hard time getting home, too. It's hard yeah. getting a cab just standing out there in a blouse and fishing at stockings. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. I understand that the police often come to your lovings in, uh, in disguise. Yeah, that's true. They've been coming pretty regular now. They come either as a bumper sticker or as a park bench. Come disguised. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it is? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe you think so, but i got to get going now. <coughs> Excuse well, me. Yeah, sure. It was... Come on, Officer Muldoon. Oh, you're... Uh, you're... <laughs> 